Every team that comes to Summer in the City has an opportunity for success. Um, we wanted to give youth an opportunity during the day, during the week, more idle time, um, giving them options and programming that they could also utilize outside of just a Friday night. Organizer Tony Lopez says while their focus is on keeping our young people safe, the students say they take so much more away. This year was something that we really focused on, was providing transportation to youth um, to get them to and from the locations. And so we have, we have worked with individuals to get transportation taken care of. He says every day they pick up dozens of excited teens who are ready to learn. When I got here last week, it was because, like, they just told us about, like, you got to learn more about, like, who you is, stuff like that. John Bible is 15 years old. He says the program is more than coming to just dribble a ball. Through the seven-week program, more than 100 teens learn a different skill. Today at Watkins Park, kids learn barber skills. Organizers say students will learn anything from cooking, physical training, to the importance of mental health. Barber is something I went, like, I want to do, learn how to do, like, take a career out of Bible says hearing about all the teen involved shootings in the city is becoming the new norm. He says this program acts as a safe haven for him and his peers to get away from it. It helps us like stay out the way and learn how to like not be like the next person. Lopez says even though the program is full this year, he says parents can still get their kids involved in other activities. So they can get on the Eventbrite um, and look up Summer in the City and they'll be able to go through that and see what other programming we have and they'd be able to sign up for the programming. In Indianapolis, Levi Harvey, CBS4 News.